With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. The unmatched global refugee crisis calls for the U.S. to increase its support for the tens of millions of people who have fled their homes because of religious persecution and other causes, a bipartisan commission says. More than 26 million people around the world are refugees, out of a total of 84 million people who have been forcibly displaced. That's according to the latest stats from the U.N. High Commission for Refugees. Two-thirds of refugees are are from five countries, including Afghanistan, Burma, and Syria, where religious communities are experiencing systemic, ongoing, and egregious persecution, the report said. Hannah Daniel, a policy associate with the Southern Baptist Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, says the new report demonstrates the unprecedented scale of the crisis and the urgent need for providing security and assistance to persecuted people. As stories of tragedy and heartache continue to emerge from the ongoing crisis in Ukraine, Send Relief is grateful for the generosity and commitment of those who are helping their brothers and sisters in Eastern Europe. From the initial invasion in early February to the present, Send Relief has raised more than $10 million. The money is being used to fund medical teams as well as support disaster relief efforts and help provide resources to local churches on the front lines. To learn more, visit Send Relief org. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash good news. The first ever family film from the Skit Guys, a Christian comedy duo, is in theaters nationwide. Family Camp chronicles the journey of two polar opposite families who find themselves sharing a cabin for a week at a rustic summer camp. During a competition for a camp trophy, the two fathers find themselves lost in the woods after a series of mishaps. The two men have to work together to find their way out of the woods. The film was produced by Provident Films, producer of such films as Overcomer, War Room, Courageous, and Woodlawn. It was also produced by the Educational Media Foundation, the parent company of K-Love, the largest contemporary Christian radio network in the U.S., alongside of roadside attractions. You can read the full story at our website, baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today. Make sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm Brandon Porter.